go. Crash and flow. It's great. It's not a. He's doing him. Yeah. He's just a white guy in North Dakota. Yeah. Making bangers. Hey man, I mean, like, you, is there no reason not to like him? I'm sure that's what a lot of people they they heard. They heard White Iverson, mm. and then they... That was great, though. And, and then they, they watched it, and they're like, that guy is singing this song? Mm-hmm. And then soon enough, you know, eventually Post Malone got everyone to love him. And I think it's just by virtue of the fact that that guy looks like... It, every fan interaction, mm-hmm. he's just super nice. Yeah, that's it, He has a... He has an aura of, like, super nice and super innocent he's, vibe. Yeah, yeah, very happy, drunk, and happy high. I don't think... Yeah, I think he's so So he drunk. met Iverson, and he's just super, super duper awkward. He's so drunk, he's like, White Iverson, if it wasn't for you, there'd be no White Iverson. <laughs> he said that to Alan Iverson. Is that what he said? Yeah, Alan Iverson. Oh, that's for real? Yeah, for okay. real. And he's like... <laughs> he's just shaking his hand, like, all right, dude. This guy's drunk. That's what Alan Iverson looks like. He's thinking, like, this guy's drunk. Yeah, and that's Alan Iverson saying that. I feel like Alan Iverson. No, I think he, he would smoke weed. What? Right? Isn't he the bad? He's like the bad boy, right? Wasn't oh, he? Yeah, he was. Yeah, you know, he was the ultimate he was, like uh, counterculture badass in the NBA. Apparently, supporting the like the entire strip club economy mm-hmm. of like the whole East Coast. Apparently, he brought strip strippers to regular mom and sh- mom and like regular restaurants. Mm. And he brought them into like see that's nice a that's, PF Chang's that's nice no to dance not to eat food oh I see yeah, I <laughs> thought it was like let's break time ladies let's go next door he's not <laughs> buying them lunch <laughs> he's making them dance while he eats lunch oh I thought it was uh, he's like you know such a good dance <laughs> dinner's on me everybody you want some lemon chicken we're going to Sizzler <laughs> we're going to Sizzler yeah so you ever been to Sizzler no it's an American thing yeah oh, it's nice man yeah yeah I wish we had Sizzler. Uh, I, I I think I saw Sizzler in an episode of um, Anthony Bourdain when he took the crazy dude, um, the guy the guy who got paid in in Facebook uh, shares. Yes, the, the Korean. I think gentleman. they went to I think they went to Sizzlers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That guy is wild. I saw him today. He's crazy. Bit. You yeah. saw him today? I was looking at some videos of his today where he was uh, drawing stuff and mm-hmm. just narrating, talking over it. Yeah. And by the time he finishes, just like it's beautiful. Yeah. But he just seems like he's just. Just yeah, the way how it paints. If you zoom close, you're like, this is a mess. Yeah. And he zooms away, and you're like, man, what a what, what a talent. Yeah. Going back to Iverson, I think NBA players, it's really cool. Like it is fantastic that I feel like they do prop up these entire industries of uh, low level partying. You know, <laughs> like just just trashy. You know what I mean? Was it was it Atlanta that he was holding up? Uh no, that was Philadelphia. Oh, okay, Philadelphia. Um, Harden uh is right now is you know the the person who's he's the strip it. club guy definitely really eh? houston atlanta yep hey man don't you get tired like you do it for two weekends and then you're like we gotta just stay home and play some video games i don't you know what that's a lot of and like that's a lot that's of a lot of energy too. right but that's a lot of athletes too that's all they do they're just like yeah I yeah play basketball and play video games bro let me tell you a story about people who should stay home and play video games talk to me it's better for your health okay mm-hmm. um so there's a there's a there's a race car driver. I'm just for those people who don't watch Formula One, just uh, I, I give you some background. Thank you. Um, there, there's a team called Red Bull, uh, and there's a driver named Checo Perez. He's got Oof. two kids and a wife. What country? Um, he, he's he's from Mexico. Okay, but uh, Red Bull is I, I guess it's a uh, Austrian. Uh, I think it's an oh, Austrian really? company. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was it, the 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 original ingredients was made by a Thai person in thailand Mm -hmm. and it was more like a syrup and then when this dude i think he's austria i forgot where but anyway this dude from uh, europe he went to thailand he was jet lagged they gave him red bull the version that it was like that back in the 1980s or something right and then he's like wow this is really good i could change this and make it more palatable for the western uh drinkers Mm -hmm. and then after he bought the company like he did it and he bought the company out from the thailand guy dang and that same company is in every video games and formula one Red Bull is into everything. I like how that's what they did with their like drink fortune. Like, what do we do? Just we're gonna do things that might kill it, you know? Yeah, the yeah. user might die. We're just gonna take the, the drink to the, the next level. Yeah, honestly, the guy who skydived from space. Yeah, that I'm was like, Red why Bull. is he doing that? That was Red Bull. Plane races. Yes, they have doing, plane races. Are you doing plane races? Planes are going fast enough. Yeah, they can do turns through things. Crazy. 
in crazy. Abu Dhabi. Yeah, of course. Of course, of course, it's Abu Dhabi. <laughs> what other crazy things you want to do? You can do it here. He anyway, dies, he dies. So, Checo Perez. Yeah, Checo. right. Uh, he he's the number two driver on the team, and um, it comes out that he was caught cheating mm -hmm. on his wife in Monaco. Right. He, so after a race, I'm pretty sure they got a podium that race for Monaco. Uh, he might have gone P1. I don't. I don't, I don't remember. But mm -hmm. you know, he's they won. Right. He's dancing. Mm -hmm. All of the Red Bull guys went out. They were they were dancing together. Right. And then the the camera, there's someone who's holding a cell phone, and they're they're recording presumably one of the pit crew from Red Bull dancing. Right. Mm -hmm. And then after the guy who's holding the camera, he pans over slightly, and into frame comes uh, Checo Perez grinding uh, on another girl. I mean, on a girl, and the guy, the the, the guy on the left, he mm. he like tried to put his hand in the way of the camera, like whoa, 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 stop, stop, stop. Mm. He was trying to he was trying to protect his cheating boy, oh, um, and then uh, so this comes out right, and I'm just thinking to myself, hey man, you, like th this could have been could have been stopped mm. if you decided that hey, okay, I'll come out for the team dinner, mm -hmm. but once when we start dancing. Just pack your stuff and go back to your go yeah, back yeah, to your scene, condo. Of course, it could have been over if he right if he stopped. But then he probably was like, "Let me have one drink, and after I'll just dance with the crew." Yeah, and then two drinks, and then you're in Monaco. Yeah, okay, right. That place is really rich. Yeah, and what happens when you have really rich dudes in a place? Mm. In comes the gold diggers, mm. and we're talking class A Bentley Rolls Royce gold diggers. Right, I mean, like they have to, they have to have a certain amount of talent and expertise mm -hmm. for them to graduate into being able to gold dig in in Monaco, mm -hmm. right? So you're talking about the best of the best. They're the F1 cars of digging, hose. yeah, right. And you think you can say no multiple times in an evening where you are drunk? Presumably have some other drugs in your system. You're high on a win. You think mm -hmm. you're indestructible. And you put yourself in a situation. You could say no like four or five times. If you keep just chilling over there. And you're like, what? Why wouldn't I be able to? No. Just Dude, take your food. this guy drives uh, a $10 million car. Yeah. You know, he, he knows what he's doing. He's like, I'm Checo Perez. <laughs> Pronounce as that, you know? I know, man. That's what but... he does. That's Checo. You can't. He's not slowing down. So what's crazy is the person. Uh, so it got outed, but it was kind of like still in like lower Twitter. Like I don't feel like it blew up that much. Mm -hmm. And then Max Verstappen's mom, who his it's his teammate. So Max right. and Perez are teammates. And then um, there was some sort of like other controversy, and she just blasted Perez and be like, he cheated in qualifying, and he also cheated on his wife. Mm, dang, mom! <laughs> wow, that is. <laughs> And then it just went. That's hilarious. Yeah, don't put yourself in those situations, man. That's why the basketball players, dude. You can't. You can't. You can't. I don't know. I think they probably cheat all the time, though. Like, all the time. Am I wrong? No. I, do you think LeBron cheats? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. But I think most Le of them cheat I think all if the Le time. I think if LeBron cheated, someone would know. Yeah, but, like, Kobe cheated. Uh, yeah, Kobe did she cheat. He had to buy, like, a diamond ring. Yeah, yeah. And then it didn't seem like that was the first time he did it. Yeah. You know? It yeah. just seemed like that. But it's Kobe. It kind of feels like I it, feel like, you know, I think that's That how doesn't Magic, surprise me. I feel like that's how Magic Johnson got AIDS. Yeah, he got AIDS so much. He got so much AIDS. I think he got <laughs> like a few AIDS. Oh my he god. He got so many AIDS, he turned it around. <laughs> the doctor was like, Hey man, we could have saved you if we had one or two, but I you think, got like four I think layer he's AIDS. Made here. of AIDS. I think AIDS <laughs> is holding him together. He seems pretty good. Yo, he looks fantastic, yeah, right? I know. Wow. <laughs> you know, they weren't they weren't kidding when they said that they can reduce it to non detectable levels. Dude, he's thriving. That guy just lives regular <laughs> he life. Seems fantastic. Yeah. He's not sunk in it at all. Like I watched, no. I watched he's the AIDS on movie. Weight, man. He's like, <laughs> he's he needs to, you know. <laughs> what was that movie? Cowboy Club. Yep, Some... Dallas Cowboys Club. Yeah, yeah, Dallas Buyers Club. <laughs> yeah, when you see when you see him and you're like, oh, that's what it does to you. Yeah, man, they did not. Ex that's you know. that early AIDS. Yeah, that was dude. the early one when it was taking so, people out. It's like early pandemic, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Now that's, no our, that's what I'm saying. Early Neuralink. I don't think Elon's going to get early Neuralink. I think he gets like, you know, 
He, it's like after one million or two million people get it, he's like, okay. Okay. The only reason why I think that he he said that he was going to get it when once when it's operational mm -hmm. is because the hardware is already it's it's something that's not future proof. You can't make anything future proof, but like there is a big runway for the hardware. Okay. And then the software is really the thing that requires updates so they would Jeez. just they would just update it they just wi-fi the they just like you know just scan it like you're going through the airport you're like Boo. so 10 yeah 15 years ago dude right. there was an anime uh, it was an anime i was watching called ghost in the shell mm -hmm. and um i've seen the movie you've seen the movie the movie is a dog I shit know, um and it's not because I have a problem with them getting... Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I don't want... <laughs> talk about your thing. Talk about your thing. Okay, okay. All right, here we go. So in the... in the anime, Fantastic anime, by the way. And, and if, if you watch the, the, the TV series of Ghost in the Shell, they have... The, it's about a group of, uh, of police officers and their division just takes care of um, cyber, like brain uh, terrorism. Dang. and crimes mm -hmm. essentially like someone hacks into someone else's brain takes over that human mm -hmm. cr commits a crime and then like disappears out of that person's brain Holy and then hell. they they so you can't you can't imprison the guy who got hacked mm -hmm. right because like he did it but it wasn't because he was thinking that he wanted to do it and then you have to go and try to look in his brain to find evidence of the hacker and then work your way backwards mm -hmm. and everyone's brains who have augmented that that have allowed themselves to be augmented. Mm -hmm. Essentially what they do is they open up your skull and they put a brain case mm -hmm. around your brain. So your your entire brain is is encapsulated in neural link like technology. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine like if instead of a chip, it's the whole thing that covers the brain. Mm -hmm. So, and then you can transfer from one body to another. If you get killed or something like that, you can opt to go into an Android. Jeez. So all of that in this anime, which is like, I think 20 years old or something like that. And we're getting close to that. It doesn't pretty like, quickly. When you're watching it, you're like, "This is nuts." Yeah. And then now you're like, "I mean, Neuralink. That's what they're trying to do. That's trying to make a phone call." Yeah. You know. I hope he does great. I th I think uh, I, you know what. On one hand, he's like scared of AI, mm -hmm. and on the other hand, he seems to be propelling everyone towards something crazy like it. Yeah, that's true. Because that's a pretty deep. Uh... I'm not saying you are the Borg, mm -hmm. right? But it's getting there. Yeah. I'm most afraid of like dementia. So I'm like, bring it on. I want a little, I can't remember shit. Any of my wife's, uh, I'm, I feel so bad for her. She has to repeat everything. There's an, there's news. Did you hear there was like a new research drug that that's shown to be able to uh, like cure curb a dementia. All right. That's sick. I got to look into this. Then again, it's one of those things where it's like coffee creates cancer. Coffee cures cancer. Right. Like nice. you just keep hearing this type of like new drug and then the drug disappears. Probably Neuralink, because man. Michael Jackson gets it. I mean, what? Michael, Mike, Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson gets it. You can't confuse magic. There's not even a second magic. <laughs> Who else says magic anything? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's Never true. watched any of his highlights. Anyway, yeah, so oh, Neuralink. Dude, yeah, go. One of the best uh, Showtime. His name's you... Magic. <laughs> yeah, I guess. It's not boring. <laughs> did you watch? Did... Was he playing? Not really. No, no. he was. Uh, he sat out a lot mm -hmm. uh, because of the AIDS. Yeah, they wouldn't let him play because they were like, "That's how you get it." Right. He posts you up, and you get. AIDS. Well, he, I mean, you could presumably if he got cut, right? I don't think so. And then the blood, yeah, splattered on top of your eyeball. Yeah, yeah. You could get it that way. I don't know. No, no. I, I'm pretty sure I watched a CSI episode. I don't think... See, that the thing is, your credentials are so <laughs> weak. I can't believe you even brought that up. You're like, listen, listen. I saw some this writers... Is the, this is what the podcast is. You know, credentials weak for most things. The bastion. Not even Mythbusters, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting a CSI episode. Which CSI? Miami? Or like, oh, that's that's how they... No, I don't watch Miami. I watched, <laughs> I watched the original, obviously, the better one. With Grissom. Yeah. Grissom. Oh, and man. his bugs. Oh, you remember? You watched it too, yeah. eh? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> you know what? He, he turned it down so that he could just go back to stage acting. What's that about? He was so good. I don't understand. It's because he's not going to be able to be that good at anything else. Maybe he's just like, you know what? I just love the art. It doesn't matter what I do. I don't want the money. I don't need the fame. I don't need nothing. I just get to act. Jeez. They brought him back for like season 15. It's like just, it's still freaking going. He's probably right just there. negotiating. <laughs> like, what are you going to do? Find another me? <laughs> Nobody has likes yeah, bugs no, like no me. One's, no one's going to be able to do it. Anyway, in that episode, some guy slashes this girl's throat. Yeah. Right? And then um, 
the 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 arterial spray sprays him in the eyes yeah and then later on he gets an uh like an hiv like an not an hiv he gets um like a blood-borne disease that mm. got transferred through his eyeballs man yeah there's an episode of seinfeld yeah where jerry has going out with his girlfriend and she's mm -hmm. like you know i have to tell you i have i have gonorrhea mm -hmm. you know i got it from a tractor he's like what what and she's like, yeah, my boyfriend told me you can get gonorrhea from a tractor. <laughs> Which means, like, he gave her Yeah, yeah, no, I understand. Right? I understand his subtext. So, like, I don't know how this guy told Grisham that he got this blood in his <laughs> eye. But maybe he's just, you know, he's just a raw dog, and, you know, and doesn't want that. He doesn't mind He's like, listen, I kill her. Yeah, but, but... I'm cheap, <laughs> all right? I'm not an animal, all right? So, and now you're out here. Just talking the talk. I guess so. But anyway, <laughs> that's the way how I thought. So when when people when people say uh, when people say that like I don't know, no one's introduced themselves to me and say hello. My name is this, and I am HIV positive. I don't think they need to tell me. I'm not trying to date anyone. Right. But if they did, I would give them a firm handshake mm -hmm. because I know that AIDS that will not go through the handshake. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but like what if i have a cut in my hand he also has a cut you in his sound hand like you're like in 1993 <laughs> and there's a mosquito and it, it it bites him and then spits in my mouth <laughs> <laughs> the <mosquitoes> <laughs> and, <laughs> oh, man. and i eat the mosquito then i have to throw up the mosquito yeah that's the problem man and that's why he can't play dude he came back and played you know what you can say what you want to say i'm just trying to be some like i'm just trying to be safe you know? Yeah, that's true, man. Who's <laughs> trying to get AIDS? But then again, it might be good for you. I don't even know anymore. No, no, it's not. No? No. He seems great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's because he was he was also a basketball player. Yeah, he's... Yeah. And he has a lot of resources. He owns... He does really well. Oh, does he? Oh, he's a big-time entrepreneur. Yeah. He owned a, a theater chain called Belly Theaters or something. Okay, that, uh, I guess... It's urban. That's good. Oh, it was, really? It was in, in the West Coast. Oh, but like only for urban neighborhoods? No, no. That'd be cool that they would do like. It did have like urban movies though that oh, played longer. Cool. It was cool. Yeah. There was actually a bunch of good movies out of that time. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, uh, shit. I wanted to. Uh, I had something for this, but <laughs> All right, it, is what it is. It is what it is. Hold on. Let's go to my saved. Okay, so have you heard? <laughs> this is a little bit of older news, but I'm going into it anyway. Have you heard what Kanye West said? Man, I was trying to find it, and I couldn't. And then I said, I said, you know what? I'm not going to look it up. I'm looking forward to the podcast. You tell me. Okay. What he said. This is on the Alex Jones. Okay, so traditionally, Alex Jones has has had some far-out ideas mm -hmm. and beliefs, right? He, he just got slapped with like a billion dollars for... Like a billion. Thing, which is amazing because like they'll crucify him, but mm -hmm. the government can just do all the things whenever... And uh, right. there's no they, like there's no there's no accountability for yeah, anything. Yeah. But like for him, they'll put a him to a billion dollars. So not that I'm saying he's not right. You know, it is what it is. Oh, we need to talk about Bernie Griner in a moment. OK, so um, anyway, Alex Jones has some wild ideas. Okay. He normally makes the people around him uncomfortable. Okay. He yells, he gets sweaty. He's like he thinks that, you know, there's I don't think he thinks there's lizard people, but every conspiracy he will go down and uh, he, he will believe it 100 percent. And, you know, it's crazy. He's entertaining. Here we go. This is someone who successfully made Alex Jones uncomfortable. Mm. Here we go. The most Nazi-like activities I've seen, um, and, and the Nazis, in my view, were thugs that shook people down did a lot of really bad things. But they did good things, too. We're going to stop dissing the Nazis all the time. I see, I, I see good things about Hitler also. I love Jewish people, but I also love Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, I have to disagree with that. I, I like Hitler. I, I don't like Hitler. I think by them falsely accusing I, people, some people are going to become Nazis. I, I am. I am. <coughs> now what? I am. You're now what? what? Now, I'm a Nazi, nice. and Obama was not the first black president. He was another Jewish president. But there's a lot of things that I love about Hitler. A lot of things. I'm in the Twilight Zone right now. Wow, is that real? Yeah. Netanyahu, what do you have to say? What do you have to say to Alex Jones right now, Nick Fuentes and Ye? It was bad. It was bad for Trump to meet with Nick and Ye. Okay. <laughs> oh my god alex jones face at the end is just like <laughs> uh, wow yeah also is that a gimp uh what is what's no he it's in? just a it's just a it's a it's, it's a face a, mask mask 
Okay. With a zipper. Yeah, it's a down zip. the middle. Right. I think that's what it, that's what it is. It looks like it's shiny. So yeah, I think that's what he does. You know that does. at the end of Pulp Fiction, there's a yeah yeah yeah. It yeah, looks yeah. like that. I, got a I think it's a little a, different. Yeah, wearing a hoodie. I think it's a little different. Yeah. Oh, so has he lost his mind? Um, he's lost. His I mind. mean, at this point, yeah. definitely, man. You know, now you now you can like, whew, sh- Nikes, dude. This is just a person imploding. Yeah, in front of everybody. Right, because. You know, four steps back, maybe he makes another thing. He does like an apology tour. He sends out like he makes a couple songs mm-hmm. and he's free of the Adidas contract. He can make his own his own sneakers and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Maybe he comes back. Right. Yeah. Because any, anyway, everyone was flipping on the Bal- Balenciaga thing. Right. Yeah. It's like like uh, like uh, weird sex bears in, in the photo shoot. So you could be like the heat is over there. Let him like turn around. And maybe he could make it, maybe he could, uh, you know, put it on an upswing, mm. but not anymore. Like, he looks like he just wants to just go completely go away. I think he's off his meds. I mean, he's been off his meds. I don't even he's know. He's been about... telling other yeah. people that he's been off his really? meds. Really? Yeah. I don't even know what meds, but I'm like, this They're bipolar. Is, I feel like these are, this is a situation where you say this person's off the meds. You know? Yeah, no, he's he's bipolar. Like, diagnosed officially, I believe. I know, I know a couple of bipolar people, mm-hmm. and they're not like that, mm-hmm. you know? But like you know, I guess there's levels to everything. Yeah, I mean, also you know, that's he, a he's, thing. He's the great. He's the greatest sample beat maker, and I, also I feel bad for everybody. <laughs> I feel bad for Kim, and uh, I think that he probably for a, like a long time ago mm. has lost the people that might be able to help him. Mm. After his mom passed away, yeah. I think like it just. I don't think that he's very good at keeping friends, even with drugs. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and. And or on his meds rather, not drugs. And then when he lost his mom and then decided to be off drugs, uh, off his meds, I think there's no one left to help him. Mm. You know, then he leaves the like, like uh, Kim and whatever. And I think that's it, man. I think, I think we're just going to see this person crash and burn and everyone is just going to watch it, but no one's going to really be able to help mm. because first, I don't think he, he surrounds his, himself with people that might be able to say anything like it, they, Jay-Z and him put out one of the greatest collaborative al- hip hop albums ever. Mm-hmm. Watch the throne. Right. Mm. That's that. Like every song on that thing is fire. Yeah. And so, you know, for you to be able to do, Oh. I do agree with you. You're like, hey, to put out such a good album, you must be kind of friends, right? You put out, you did you have, something you together. Have to be, you have to be friends. At least for that, yeah. Even I feel like actors who do a movie together for two years yeah. for that, they're very close friends for that. Yeah, you know, for sure. That, yeah. 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 So um, for that to happen and then, you know, Jay-Z not like disown, essentially disowning Kanye heard, way back in the yeah, day. Yeah, I heard uh, Kim got uh, robbed at gunpoint mm-hmm. in France and Jay-Z didn't even call... Kanye or Kim to see how they're doing. That's what Kanye was getting mad about, right? Yeah. That is pretty messed up. <laughs> Bro, you know what? You know what's worse? Yeah. Is uh the lack of security mm-hmm. that was exercised by Kim. Yeah, I know. <laughs> have you seen the have you seen the mini documentary Not interview? At all. No. Okay, you should watch the, this mini documentary interview where they interview the guys mm-hmm. that went to to rob Kim. Because one of them is, I don't know if he's on probation or whatnot, but he seems like he's just walking the streets. And then the the interviewer is asking, like, so how did you know that Kim was there? Well, he's like, well, I uh, followed her on Instagram and she posts wherever she is. And she says where she's going to go. So <laughs> that seems pretty easy. Yeah. And then he just walked into a hotel wherever that like it was one of these boutique hotels. That's what people do. There was one guard. Yep. They, he pulled out a gun on the guard and he made him sit down, put him in handcuffs. And then they just walk upstairs. <laughs> Hey, a little better self security. Yeah, that's true, dude. It's so expensive, though. Also, this here's sorry, brother. Also, this the people who robbed her were were like older men that didn't quite know how to use social media that well. Like they're old, they have gray hair. Mm -hmm. They're not even moving that quick. That's (laughs) so funny. Can you imagine getting robbed by old people? Oh my god, they're old. Like you think they got they got robbed by like they they got like robbed by like road men, Uh, like people who live the street or not. No, dude, this smart people. If you saw who they were, you'd Mm -hmm. be like like it'd be like just a regular old guy just on a bicycle at nighttime. So funny. You know he's gonna go get some baguettes. So funny. Jay Z didn't even call. Whatever. Yeah, all right. No one got hurt. No one got hurt. Just just jewelry. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. What Jay Z's gonna have Jay Z Jay Z did uh, reasonable doubt. He doesn't have to call you. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, all right. You want you want to talk about Britney Griner? Why are you laughing? Free Britney. Also, free Britney for Brit. You know that Britney was a bigger thing than anybody doing anything for Britney. Yeah, because Britney Spears is a bigger star than Britney Griner. I know, but she was like you know imprisoned by her dad and stuff, and not Russia. It didn't seem like you know. And then you know what? Britney is acting so weird that some people were like. Maybe, maybe he, maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe we should not pull like back a, a little bit. Not a, maybe. somewhere in the middle. Yeah. All right. So pretty. So for those who don't know, Brittany Griner, um, nine uh, months, homie, uh, Russian prison, homie. Okay. Wait, hold and on. And a colony. No, she didn't make it no? to the colony. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So she, she was traveling to Russia. Yep. Um, and she has a house in Russia because of the fact that like, or she has a place to stay that's hers in Russia. Uh, because every summer she goes there to play in a basketball league over there. They get paid about a million dollars to do so. It's run by a couple oligarchs, or I don't know how many oligarchs, but it's run by oligarch-like people. And, um, you know, every, so it's not her first rodeo going into Russia, mm. right? Now, I'm sure over over the period of time prior to that, she was able to go in and out of Russia carrying a little bit of contraband and no one said anything mm -hmm. because it wasn't an issue. Because it was Russia. Because also there was no war. Mm -hmm. Now, before she left to go to Russia this faithful time, the WNBA or whoever, um, NBA, they sat them down and said, hey, look, for those who are going into Russia, beware that things are heating up between Russia and Ukraine. So... It's a, it's like a tentative situation. Maybe you don't want to go, mm -hmm. you know, consider all the facts before, like, here's the, here's the thing. This person decided that they were still going to go. She packed her shit and, um, you know, she left the cartridges in the, in the bag. They get to the thing. She gets picked up by security and, you know, she's got her personal vape and it's got a controlled substance. The law is the law. She goes to jail. Right now, you can make the argument the law is stupid. It's only for personal use. She's not going to be able to like sell it or whatever. But what I'm trying to get at is this: it's not like they made up the law when they showed her when she showed up. Right, the law has always been there, mm -hmm. and so she was rolling the dice still. And um, anyway, so she goes to jail. Now they uh, they they said that she was going to do nine years in a penal colony, which is like a work camp, and uh, yeah, probably horrific. Anyway, there's been this big push to free Britney. Um, you know, uh, especially like if anyone who's watched the NBA, they'll see. So they <clears throat> traded as of today, they have announced that they mm -hmm. are going to trade Brittany Griner, WNBA player for Victor Bout. Mm. Victor Bout is also known as the merchant of death. Victor Bout had a movie based on him by the name of Lord of War. That was him. That's Keanu Reeves. Nicholas Cage. Oh, even better. Victor Bout was the guy to get his hands on military equipment, guns, and anything in between mm -hmm. during the fall of the Soviet Union for him to then take those same arms and then sell it to any militia terrorism organization around the world. Mm -hmm. If you went to Sierra Leone, during the time that they were, you know, blood diamonds and gold and all this other stuff, and then the various civil wars that's happened within the RUF, and uh, I forgot what other, what the other factions were. Those guns, a lot of them came from Russia. Mm -hmm. and it came from this guy. Guns in 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 uh, for the Taliban up until like just recently, two thousand. So like we're talking like two thousand and uh, well, just before two thousand eight when he got picked up, mm -hmm. came from this guy. This guy has funded a tremendous amount of wars mm -hmm. as a result of his bullets and his guns and whatnot. Anyway, he got picked up in 2008, I believe. And um, really, it's one of those things where, you know how like an Al Capone gets pick, got picked up? It was by tax fraud mm -hmm. because they can't prove that he did all this other stuff. They know he's done all of these other things, but they can only get him on this one thing. Right. And so that's how they get him, right? And so in essentially the way how he got picked up was something along the lines of that. Not like as as like pedestrian as tax fraud, but it was like for, I think a conspiracy to kill a US um, like service person. That's or pretty, like serious. That. pretty serious. Pretty <laughs> serious. That's not tax but fraud. It's, but it's also not like <laughs> funding an entire war. You know, like it's right, not like, right, you know, right. that's what I'm it's saying. It's like getting one, one guy or something. Yeah. yeah. Um, so dude, he, he uh, he's very good at being an arms dealer. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
And uh, so he, he was booked for 25 years, I believe. And uh, he's already done, yeah, 25 years. And he's done 15 years out of the 25 years. Mm. And apparently he has um, like failing health. At least that's what the United States is saying. And so they're saying that, okay, we'll just trade. But here's what's funny to me, okay? You, the fact that they couldn't find another Russian dude that was semi like important mm. to trade and they had to trade the merchant of death. You don't know what the the deck holds. And also they probably drive a hard bargain. I feel like Russia, I think Russia was like I think this guy or nothing. I think Russia wins the trade. I think and they're like you will trade a basketball player for a, a murderer. Not just a murderer of like one or two people. No, I know. Murderer of like countries of people like ethnic cleansings and all that stuff yeah merchant of death lockheed martin level you know yeah yeah moving the stuff yeah dude crazy apparently he he was he's like so good at it like how do you like you know amazing like when you were born you don't look at a kid and you'd be like this guy could <laughs> like you know you were like oh, you're gonna be an astronaut you could be a doctor you could be a whatever and this is, he's the best mm-hmm. at arms <laughs> at arms trade. Dude, they're all kids you know all those yeah. ho- all those horrible men yeah those all all our kids let me let me see if i can hit i can give you some uh some hit some some of his hits over here he's dubbed the merchant of death uh he became notorious in his willingness to arm almost anyone from militias in Sierra Leone to Charles Taylor's brutal Liberian regime mm. to the Taliban. His life uh, inspired the 2005 movie. Uh, he was born in that. He was fluent in several languages. He served in the Soviet army as a military tran- uh, translator, and according, um, including in Angola. This guy's been everywhere. Mm. Uh, he's said to have attended Moscow Language Institute and serves as training grounds for military intelligence officers. Uh, da, 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 da. What's his name? Uh, uh, Victor Bout. Yeah. I'm just saying, you know, imagine being Brittany Griner. Yo, here's... <laughs> yeah, you know, why Why imagine? Because, like, you took a vape, right? You yeah. fucked. You know you messed up. Yeah. You never thought it would be like, hey, you're now in Russia indefinitely. Yeah. And it doesn't even seem like you're coming out. Yeah. You know? And now you're there in Russia. They're treating you like, like in fucking Russia. Now there's a war. Dude, anything can happen. They're sentencing you stuff. And your thought is you might be here for a decade, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then they trade you. And you're like, damn right. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm worth that fucking... <laughs> I'm worth... <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I wonder I... if it makes her feel any better. It's like, wow. I you know? want quiet for her. What do you? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to hear. I don't even. I don't even. I don't want, want to. I don't want to hear that you became an activist. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear nothing. I, I honestly oh, do. Shut up. No, I don't want to hear nothing. You shut the hell up. I don't she was in nothing. prison. What? Do, what do you mean? No, you got traded by the Merchant of Death. She gets to do whatever she wants. She was in prison. Oh my god. Dumbass. No. You want? You have demands on this woman. I just. You I can just take want her... that foot and shove it right up your ass. And before she does, you know, but like she's gonna, she gets to like, sl- she has to come back and get to slap Joe Biden. Why? He he's the one who got her out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But still, nine months. I pay my taxes. Listen, dude. She, the know, only reason a, why a, she got out was because of the fact that she's a basketball player. Yeah, yeah. They have course. U.S. military no, personnel who's in saying, jail as well. You know, like in terms of like, I don't know what you, I don't know if you just get to go to play basketball like you live your life the way you want to if it's just making speeches on like freedom of speech then whatever but like i can't imagine being like i was saying in prison and thinking that you might be here forever yeah and there doesn't seem to be any traction and uh and that was their line that was russia's line you have to give us that guy yeah for this yeah it doesn't seem like you there must be moments where it's like oh we're not even doing this yeah she can just stay there yeah and uh no man i just don't want to i feel like it's there's there's something odd about the fact that like okay now you're here that's free Mm -hmm. right you can live your life the way how you want to do it i just don't want you to go on a speaking tour about it just because of the fact in my head it makes it's it's kind of like you messed up you went over there you got out you're happy that you're back over here i never really heard about (laughs) britney greyer prior to this we're probably not gonna hear a lot she's not that kind of like you know there's a murder on the loose it isn't like you get more chatty after you go to russian prison (laughs) you're like i need to talk more there's a murderer on the loose you literally let it i mean i you know what see the thing is is that like what 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 um what softens the blow a bit is that 
he was only doing a 25 year like he, he it, like <laughs> you know i can't imagine that like the, i don't even know how they came to that number yeah 25 right was he drunk driving <laughs> like what do you mean 25 years uh, for conspiracy to that's me for drunk driving um, like say it's pretty harsh on drug drivers <laughs> yeah but like i don't know man if you're like well we need we should do it this way it'll be like there's a mass murderer who right. came out because of you hush I don't know. Who I, don't I know it's because of her, because it is. But yeah. it's just like they were gonna get her on whatever. She could have just farted, you know. Like, dude, uh, the, the, everyone else in the WNBA you know, that showed up didn't get a, caught. Being a lesbian is illegal. That's they already knew what it was. They that's didn't care. pedophilic, you know. Like, there's laws against that. Yeah, in Russia, she, she wasn't actively doing any of those. So things. they just had a bargaining chip. It didn't matter. She had what her honor. It's. I don't think she's the only person from the WNBA that went to to Russia. If they could, you know, get anything, they wanted a bargaining chip. Yeah. I, you know, they got lucky. Oh, when they got that, they were like, oh, this yeah, is great. They yeah. really could have had her on anything. If if she didn't have anything, they could have kept her. I True. Nobody but, would be able to do anything. Yeah. They got, I mean, you can see there's no laws here. This trade doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. There's a basketball player versus this. She could have almost done anything. And like, she probably has been taking vape pens all the time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She probably did it all the time and it was no problem. Yeah. But I don't. It's, when when Russia still... goes Russia, it goes Russia. <laughs> yeah. Here, look. At sometimes you can go in Russia and play a basketball in a camp and make yeah. hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yeah. Other times they arrest you for a vape pen. Yeah. When Russia goes Russia. Yeah. Like, when are you going to time that? Bitcoin crash. You don't know. You th everything seems like it's fine. Until, like, when's, you know, they're invading countries. That's kind of unprecedented. Yeah, but they were that was happening. The tensions was rising, and uh, stuff was already in play before they went over. Louis C.K. was in Ukraine yeah. when that happened. Yeah. I understand, like things. I, he might even had a vape pen, dude. This guy is asking people to jerk off in front of him. <laughs> Not anymore. Yeah, but He's you reformed. don't know what a yeah. small thing could be a big thing, and then you're facing life in prison. Yeah. And it's, yeah, I'm not saying it's not her fault. Yeah. I'm saying what's, like, the amount of fault there is to what happened. Yeah, no, you know? I agree with you on that. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I, I'm not, Louis I'm not was in Ukraine. Yeah. You know? Perhaps safer. Maybe, but yeah. there's bombs coming. I don't know. Yeah, they also had, like, fashion shows. They did a Vogue photo, show, photo shoot. And there's also, like, you know, there's stuff happening. It's crazy times. I don't know. I'm glad know they got her on. out, you know? Yeah. They had her wife uh, at the White House saying, we're so happy. And I was just like. I just, I don't know if she comes back. She's going back to play basketball. I think, I don't know. I don't know what you do. You're like, I'm done. I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying. Take my passport. Shove it up. I don't know. I had more to say about it. You can. Yeah. It just, uh, they did a, the, you know, the other thing that, that kind of bothers me is that there's other U.S. like, personnel that are in yeah, russia totally that's been there longer yep. in penal colonies and stuff like that they just don't get that attention i don't know any other names prior but yeah you're absolutely right i agree yeah. there's like always you know but they, they don't dunk they, but yeah they, they could have gone like we want this person and this person for this they but they probably have, did bro yeah they they probably did all of that yeah and th russia drew the hard line of no one basketball player yeah. that's worth nothing to us yeah and we want the merchant of death we want the guy the movie was about we want that guy and you know the only reason why they did it, they probably like he probably doesn't have that much usefulness for the uh, unless like you know Maybe. he's the, I mean he did train intelligent uh, intelligence uh, people. He's probably just a friend of Putin's. But you know what? They might have done it just so that they can say that they made America trade a basketball player for literally one. It of It looks the most a certain way. Yeah, it does look a certain. It way. It does not look strong. <laughs> when, no, it doesn't, uh, dude. Yeah. It looks it looks hella weak. I'll tell you that for sure. Yeah, that's insane. <laughs> I feel like maybe I was like, all right, Rudy Gobert. <laughs> like, you know, he got nine players <laughs> for him from Utah. Ah, man. Anyway. That's pretty heavy. You know, you can. Uh, I'm glad she's out. Yeah. Don't. You know what? I don't I don't I don't wish a penal colony on anybody. That's crazy. I, I know in your head, it's just like, you know, sometimes you fly around with CBD, you get arrested for your lifetime. You know, shit happens. So don't do that. But like, I'm like. I don't know. I just it just seems like a very specific time that would be a problem. And yeah, you know, it's not like it's completely clean, but they're going to get her if they wanted her. Yeah. And uh, she could have had a nail filer. Like if they want you, they're going to they don't have to justify it. True. Or to the maybe, point or where maybe or maybe they wouldn't have got you and you would have gone and played basketball and left as well. 
yeah, like any like not. all of your other yeah. teammates. So like, or, or they could also be or they too. find CBD, which doesn't do anything, right? No, she right? she was it was hash it was hash oil. But I no, I think it was a non uh, what you might call. It. I think it was not uh, something that gets you high. Mm. So like, so let's say this, Yasin, is that somehow that's illegal, something yeah. that doesn't get you high, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, and that's illegal, and yeah, it's a crazy world. I just that you getting arrested for the rest of your life in fucking Russia. Yeah, and, that's uh, crazy. And you know, you just get to watch your your basketball team play basketball. The season goes on. You nope. know, it's like this girl's other girls caught your spot. I don't and think they just, gave her a TV. They just gave her a little tag, like you know, her number or something. Mm. <laughs> she gets to watch it while the light is on all day long. Yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think they gave her a TV to watch. They probably did just to show her somebody else got a <laughs> spot, just for that, just one get hey. She couldn't even, it was on, on full blast volume. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can't, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know if it's non-psychoactive, but mm. it is what it is. Well, we'll see. She's coming back for Christmas, y'all. I think they would have said it. If it was like, it had the THC, I think I should be like, look, it's THC. Because I, I didn't read anywhere that it was uh, like. It get... just says cannabis oil. Yeah, cannabis oil. Yeah. That's CBD oil. It could be CBD oil. It right. Could, it could also be just cannabis oil. With the THC in there, too. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like how you're on Russia's side here. You're like, no, no, she did something wrong. No, no, I'm not Russia's side. Are I'm just you sure? Say- if you go back to this whole podcast, <laughs> you're a little bit on... You started off with just, just you know, kind yeah. of saying, hey, this girl's not clean. Yeah. No, I'm just... Because like because you're leaning into CBD, I'm leaning the other way. It could also be the other thing as well. Yeah. yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, we're rooting for different teams here. <laughs> I don't know. I don't you're know probably why. like, ah, they were, you know, NATO should have stopped here. NATO should have stopped. I know. I agree with you. All right. Let's not poke the bear. I'm just talking about CBD here. (laughs) Absolutely. I wish they would do as good of a job negotiating like a ceasefire, you know, Mm. because like, could we get a ceasefire and then you get the Merchant of Death? Damn, Merchant of Death. I mean, it's just a, it's just a name. It's just so great. Hold on. I already sent you this uh, thing over here. Cruise ship passenger who went overboard says he fought off sharks to survive and he ate bamboo for 20 hours. While waiting for rescue. Really? You can eat that much bamboo? Here's the question, brother. Mm. How is there just bamboo in the sea? I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. And if you had that much bamboo, could you have not made a raft? Man, not everybody's MacGyver, bro. Come (laughs) on. It's hard to make a raft. Do you think? You're an engineer, so to you, you're like, what's wrong with this guy? Can't he just get these... Here's my other here's my other thing, my other problem with this, brother. Sure. Do you know how fucking hard bamboo is? Like a pretty gorillas eat it, but it's probably soaked. You know, maybe I don't know. I don't Bro, know. I don't know how this even guy... the thinnest bamboo yeah. is like I'd break my teeth. Yeah, right. That's why when you look at a panda eating it, mm-hmm. it's amazing because they're just crunching on it. Can this guy not be hungry for twenty hours? You have to just also, yeah, it. it's twenty hours. It's, it's not guy. that long. It's just you know you could. There's water and he's you know just just hold on to the bamboo, man. You don't but... have to eat your raft. I know. 20 hours. This is very apparent that he was in a, you know, he, he never did a Ramadan. No. Right? This is easy lifting for some of us. Jeez, that's really funny. <laughs> Where is this? What area of the world? Uh, his name is Michael Grimes. It, Me- uh, off the coast of Gulf of Mexico. Mm. Yeah. It's a weird thing to be famous for. Yeah, it really is. Also, it just shows that. Okay, hold on. He treaded water and ate bamboo after he plunged into the water while on a Thanksgiving cruise with 18 members of his family last month. Also, like, cruise boats don't move that quick, right? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, they question. move. Yeah. But I don't feel like they move that quick. So he falls over. No one sees him. No. He's yelling. He's probably yelling loud, but no like, one on the dock. No one. How no one on the you deck. Hear something over a cro- you know cruise boat. It's probably like horrible music and people splashing around. And he's just. <laughs> I'm going to eat a bamboo for 20 hours. Please don't go. I'm going to start now. Somehow I don't feel too bad about this guy. Yeah. <laughs> you don't feel bad. No, no way. I don't want to hear from this guy either. <laughs> hey, bamboo for 20 hours. <laughs> oh, my God. He deserves it. What was he? How did he fall in? It just said that he fell overboard. That's more bullshit because not everybody falls overboard. It's not like the ocean's trying to suck you in like yeah. Russia. All right. This guy is not deserving of any sympathy. I think he was drunk and he just like took yeah. a, like a wrong step and 
shit. Up the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> free Britney. Britney's already free. Both of them now. Yeah, man. You know? Yeah. You know what? Good for the... You don't ever hear from Britney Britney either. You know, she's not on any talks. Oh, she is, bro. Is she? You just, oh. You're just not in the... <laughs> you're just the, not where they're... Thank God. I'm so lucky. <laughs> bro, you should... Like, some of this coverage where it's like, uh, I think maybe she's a... She's a little bit kind of off. Oh. Like sometimes she just goes on rants on Instagram, just big long posts. And when you read it, you can't quite make out what's happening. Like, what is she even trying to say? What's the what's the what's the central theme of your of this big essay that you wrote? Oh, can't quite God. figure it out, dude. I don't think she's right in the head either. I can't believe Justin Timberlake. You know, I what always you, feel I, bad. I think. <laughs> well, I don't wait. Why, why do? Why, what they about went your, out for a minute. They went out for a, a while. Yeah, but. You know? He had to put up and you know, just like, oh my God, this is a crazy person. Yeah. She's been like this for me. ever, apparently. Oh, I, I don't I don't know how far back this goes. It's got some interesting childhood parents and stuff, man. I mean, yeah, they were in the Mickey Mouse Club. It's really hard for you to come out from like like child stardom and Who be okay. Yet? Christina Aguilera yeah. and Justin Timberlake and Ryan Gosling? Ryan Gosling. Yeah. Holy cow. Yo. Who's Ryan Gosling? Who's the talent agent? He? Okay. <laughs> no, that. Yeah. But like Ryan Gosling. He probably like w probably had like a wonderful family. Yeah, that guy looked like he just no problems. Justin Timberlake too. Not Justin Timberlake bad. too. Yeah, I mean he he did go he did, he did go. I think he went west. He went country music. He just dressed that way for a little. No season. no no. Yeah. He released a country music thing, and then people were mad because they're like, well, you can't just make hip hop, and then and then go make country. <laughs> hey man, he's trying to get on all the pop charts. People were like. You can't just use our culture and then leave it. I mean, like, mm. I don't know if you... that guy was trying to be as big as humanly possible at one point. As in, like, muscular? No, no. I mean, like, he's like because he failed do... at that. Yeah, no. He's just trying to. He's featuring on every. He's dancing oh, the yeah. videos. I mean, he could dance. He was it, man. Right? He was hot. Yo, remember when Timberland was big? Justin Timberlake was like, "Take me with you." Yeah, that's true. Right. That entire album was just. Well, I think that was the producer. He was the Timberland. Producer. Was album. Timberland was out here producing. All the good ones at that time. Yeah. Damn, he was... There were some really good producers. I know. I mean, I'm sure there are now. Maybe I'm not up on the music the way I used to be, but, like, I remember, like, the Neptunes mm -hmm. and Little John was in everything. It's fun times. Yeah. Okay. There's still... There's still sometimes... I, I You get the YouTube things of, like, how a certain beat was made by mm -hmm. this producer. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know okay. any of these So people. yesterday I was listening to uh, rappers hearing a beat for the first time. Yeah. Oh, and it's just top... It's nine rappers hearing a beat mm -hmm. uh, that you know is going to be one of their big songs. Oh, yeah. The, and the beat maker's playing it for them in yeah. studio. But yeah. this is... This is a... It's not... Uh, this is a compilation over, like, a ten... This is a... Uh, I've seen the one version where it's, like, I don't know, like, on MTV or something. yeah. yeah. And then this guy just was accumulating these underground people, Lil Wayne, mm -hmm. Jay-Z. You've seen the Jay-Z and Timberland one, yeah. but like other people. There's Busta Rhymes there. Yeah. And it is, it is, you can just watch that for like 15, yeah, yeah, 20 yeah, minutes. Yeah, 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 and yeah. it's really nice. It's crazy because when you see them, they're like, they hear one song, they're like, okay. They hear another song, they're like, all right. And then when, when the one they like, yeah. and they're like. And you can see their eyes glow, like their eyes like light up and they're like, okay, okay, this is the one. Here Have we go. Have you seen Puff Daddy? Have you seen P. Diddy's? Uh, I, I've so, seen him many. So this I one I saw uh, yesterday was P. Diddy and he was upset that nothing was good. Okay. So it was, it was the opposite. He was like, <laughs> stop, don't play that again. Don't play that for anyone. And he just likes, and three or four ended and he was like, no. Who's the oh. beat maker? Okay. Here's the funny thing. <laughs> Bro, uh, I almost don't want to tell you. I want to. I want to watch, have you watch it. The beat maker is Joaquin Phoenix. What in full beard mode, and uh, he is legitimately was told that P Diddy is you know coming and is gonna listen to your songs, and if he likes, he's gonna put his lyrics on it, and uh, it's in the documentary, and uh, Joaquin Phoenix goes. So, you know, you like this one, you want to do this, and P. Diddy's like, like it. I'm not, like, you're not ready for me. And Joachim goes, what? He's like, this, sh no, you're not ready for me. And he goes, Pff. and then it's like the documentary angle goes yeah, into yeah, it. Yeah, but yeah. apparently that all happened exactly that way. Holy shit. Yeah, it's fantastic to watch. I, I mean, I'm still kind of stunned still on the whole Joaquin Phoenix makes beats joaquin phoenix was losing his mind in a very entertaining way for a little while and was i think losing he... his mind yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Or was he just trolling the world i can't tell yeah that's true it's if somebody's recording you losing your mind yeah. 
you can spin it many ways, my friend. Fair enough. But yeah, that all happened. Oh, he's a beat maker, dude. It's so funny to watch. What what show was you uh, you were watching? A show or is it YouTube? No, just compilation? YouTube compilation okay, okay, okay. of rappers right, cool. hearing. A but beat you said for documentary. That's why I was. It was, uh, but there was a time where Somebody's Joaquin clicks. was making a documentary, uh, okay, and it was okay. a, this was a part of it. I see. And uh, wow, you see him get kind of upset when. Right. So so here's the deal. Yeah. Okay. You're P Diddy, right? You, uh, you worked with like Scott Storch and like the best of the best. Mm -hmm. These are people who already certified mm -hmm. has put out like platinum on platinums. Okay. Say what you want about DJ Khaled. Khaled, Khaled. Mm -hmm. um, but like the guy knows how to make a good banger, right? Yeah. And then someone comes up and tells you that an actor from the Gladiator has made some beats. You can't go into this man's studio. And this is the first time he's playing beats for someone or presumably, well, he's not known. Dude. He he's not known, brother. Yeah. There's no other song that has Joaquin Phoenix as as the as the thing. Yeah. The fact that P Diddy showed up, yeah, and then was rude to Joaquin. I think that's on P Diddy. I think that's on P Diddy, right? <laughs> Joaquin didn't say, "Hey, this is going to be your next platinum record." He's like, "I, I make agree. some beats. You want to yeah. come see it? And yeah. you're going to come over here and you're going to act rude?" Yeah, it's a fuck if, P Diddy. If if Joaquin had come to read uh, something P Diddy had written for a short movie, yes, and Joaquin would have been like, "You're not ready. This for is me. bullshit." Yeah, then I I do agree, right? But the beats were whack. <laughs> they were pretty shit. I have I have no <laughs> doubt, brother, that they would be horrible. <laughs> By a hundred percent. Yeah, that's that's. Joaquin took it hard too. I'm like, sure. I'm sure he probably put his. He had like, shades on, but you could tell he's fucking. Of course, he always has shades on. Angry as shit. Have you heard? Uh, have you heard Shia LaBeouf do, uh, like freestyle rap? It's really good. I'm gonna play it just yeah, for fun. Yeah, yeah. Let's, Let's go. Do it. It's really good. Is it with Sway? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Shia LaBeouf is crazy, bro. Not only, not only did he do, not only did he go, okay, so for those people who don't know, as we go through these ads, um, not only did he do a freestyle rap on Shay, mm. on Sway, which is uh, pretty tough to begin with, right? I mean, like, you know, they play a beat, you got to do your thing in, uh, in front of everyone, whatever, mm -hmm. right? Okay. But he did the five fingers of death. Okay. That is when the, 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 the DJ is going to play five different beats, which requires five different cadences. Mm. So it's not just the fact that you've memor perhaps you came and memorized memorized your freestyle, right. but you still have to you still have to wrap it mm. in such a way for it to fit the uh, the I don't know what's it called beat bars? RPMs. No, yeah, sorry. you got to fit you got to fit your bars within a certain amount of minutes because like I mean within a within a certain amount of time because it changes from beat to beat, right? right? So. Uh, here we go. Let's uh, let's play this. Welcome to the five fingers of death. <laughs> you are now entering the five fingers of death. DJ One plays five unique beats meant to test your lyrical stamina. Check, I saw the look check, in his check. eyes. This guy is crazy. Many have tried. Oh, I'm the best. This is just another chance for me to prove it. But many have failed. Give me some hip hop. <laughs> it's the five Whose water was that? That's his. That's his. <laughs> that's his. Right, okay. You up or make you a star. Shia LaBeouf is here with a sway in the morning. First beat, beat number one. DJ Wonder. Some faster I do this though, yeah? Okay. Do you have to talk every 30 seconds or no? Listen, listen. We're good. Get ready, no, I think get we're good. set. This is mean. This is wild. This is a childhood dream. I'm that guy though, all pride yo. Do my thing and stack right though. I'm that white oak, the gun club. I mean one oak. That's a dumb club. I don't go there, but I get dumb love. Legend, bitch. Trash you heard. That's all a legend, bitch. Plagiarist. Stay making shit. Greatest gifts come from painful shit. Truth is, I'm a true G. Only white kid with big and a coogee tied it to me. And Tupac, too. And Missy on my two knees, dude. Please stop asking about my tats like some groupies. Whenever the truth's required, I'm hired. I'm the go-to guy for fire. I'm... When the truth's not needed... I beat it. I come from La Migra Street's kid. I'm Gyro. Why is he acting up? Bro, so far so good. Hey man, come on. He's, he's doing what, really good for Shia LaBeouf. He yeah. came prepared. You can tell he's nervous. Yeah. Trying to ensure this legacy. Geico. Talk shit, I'll pop up. I'm popping these. Popping G. Popping C. I'll get you high as poppy seeds. Copy me. You ain't Heather Knox and me. Roger me. Check me, check me. Evidently, kid is transcending. God damn, it's a hell of a day. 
sat here jammed between Heather and Sway. It's a dream, yes sir, I'm the belle of the ball. Never thought my rhyme style was eligible. Rhymes are negligible, unintelligible. Now I'm exceptional, unquestionable. Yo, it's actually fitting. Yeah, man. He is doing great. I'm taking over. Better than I've been. Alert, alert, sober. Me, I've been a G since he knew Kurt Loader. Eat right, stay kosher. Shirt folder. Good kid, slow roll like a hurt bowler. God damn, I'm here. You're nowhere. You're poser. I'm poster. You're no sir. I'm closer. To toaster. I'm solar. You're nervous. I'm not sir. I'm rockster. You're novice. I'm hey, I'm man. Close. Hey, man. He's doing his thing. You have to give him credit. I That's do. fantastic. Dude, because like it's I've seen scary. some other people i've seen some people who come out who are actual musicians that mm-hmm. didn't do as good as him mm. have you seen the classic clip of um what's the australian female rapper is he azalea yes have you seen Iggy azalea Iggy i don't azalea. know her. yeah i think it's one of those ladies have you have you seen when no. she came in and then after they they took calls after yeah no okay okay hold on did they make her rhyme no, they didn't make her rhyme. She okay. came over there because she wanted to put a freestyle down, bro. Really? Yeah, man. That's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you should hear the freestyles. It's... It's it's, uh, it's good shit. I saw Little Dicky. You saw Little Dicky? Yeah. He's good, right? Yep. Okay. Oh, Stewie is in Philly. What you want to say, Stewie? All right, wait. Hold on. <laughs> wait, hold on. Let me just make sure that this is... Because she looks so different. Okay. All right, here we go. I think this is it, yeah. What's up? Stewie is in Philly. What you want to say, Stewie? Ah, uh, this is garbage, right? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, that's not, that's not the one. He, they're, tracing, they're, they're chasing some other person in there. Hold on a second. You can say that he gets called out on air. Okay, here we go. his new whip fresh in some new shit damn she is too thick who is this yeah I'm his why there's no music yeah, it is. Oh. About me. there's no music in that one i don't think she came in for five finger of death dude they're screwing you gotta put music back then maybe it would have sounded great i do that's so funny. Hold on, here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gonna take me back to Oakland, Sway? Nothing, man. Oh, no. Shit, man. I got, I'm sad that I can't find it right off the bat. Uh, that's too bad. I'll find it later. I'd be... I'm surprised when those kind of people go on those kind of shows. Because I'm like, you know you'd get exposed. Yeah. But, I got it! is fly skin and we fly shit when we drop in and we shut down your part Tim and his and her. John in Tennessee go ahead what you want to say that shit is fucking trash dog get the fuck <laughs> <laughs> Tennessee <laughs> the guy said get that shit off the radio that's so funny well you know yeah it's trash yeah it, it is it really is sometimes shit's trash yeah people this has been episode 369 say it says that number is uh is special I, I didn't. I just sang three, six, and nine, bro. Just three, six, nine. Three. Oh, we should. Uh, we. You know what? We'll do it for the intro. Anyway, take care of yourselves. We'll be back in a week. Good night. Go.